Welcome back to a new update video here on QNT. So QNT is showing massive strength. It broke out of this parallel channel here. What is my next resistance and what is my longer term outlook? I will talk about all of these important things in this update video. Before we dive any further into the video, I want to make you aware of my trade signal group. My signal group has helped me and others to make some serious profits over the last few months. The best part is you don't need to have any special skills or knowledge to start making money with it. When you join my signal group, you'll receive alerts on the most promising trades, including entry and exit points, stop loss levels and potential profit targets. This is perfect to make short term profits or to compound on, for example, your QNT tokens. Our signals have constantly outperformed the market with an average win rate of over 70%. So if you're ready to take your crypto trading to the next level, join my signal group today. Follow the steps in the description below this video. So you can right now see that QNT is trading at 127 dollars is showing massive strength here and uh, i will talk about this in more detail but first of all i'm, I'm gonna give a a brief recap here for the new subscribers on the channel so i basically think that the bear market low for q t was in here on the 13th of june 2022 at 40 dollars i don't see it breaking this level anymore since then we moved up impulsively in five waves to the upside to complete an elliott wave one impulse when this was completed we moved down in an abc move in this so-called elliott wave two correction and right now i think we are at the beginning stage of this larger elliott wave three my price target is somewhere around the three $394 but the wave 3 can obviously extend a lot higher maybe even towards areas around $1000 that's all possible for QNT but at this uh, stage it's not possible to give you the specific price targets but yeah it's looking very promising uh, for quant and as long as we are staying above that 101 level i still think that uh, this scenario this bullish scenario is uh, playing out at the moment because uh, yeah from of the swing low we've made here on the 14th of november at 94 dollars it looks like qnt moved up in a one moved down in a two moved up in a, another one two setup which is all part of this larger wave three so yeah what is also very nice to see here is that QNT broke out of this uh, parallel channel we were respecting this down sloping resistance line and we were also respecting this down sloping support line we broke above it and yeah this indicated to me that uh, this imminent pullback is completed and is finished for QNT let me actually draw it out for you guys. So basically from of the swing high we've made on the 25th of January, QNT moved down in an A wave, we moved up in a B wave and we moved down in a C wave towards 105, 106. And since then we saw a nice breakout. So yeah, QNT went very close to uh, invalidating this whole bullish structure because if we uh, would have broke broken below 101, then this whole bullish scenario would, uh, yeah, would have been invalidated and then it was then very likely that QNT would go down all the way towards 80 to 70 dollars that's of course still possible but it's getting uh, very unlikely at this stage so at the moment I'm focusing on this bullish scenario and right now I'm going to give you some price targets some resistance targets so I'm trading most of my altcoins on BitGet BitGet is a non-KYC exchange with some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges if you sign up through my link in the description you can claim up to 5,000 US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well so make sure to check BitGet out First of all, guys, I'm going to draw out a FIP retracement from the swing high here of the 25th of January towards the swing low we've made here on the 10th of March. And you can actually see that QNT got exactly rejected at 131, I believe, here on the Coinbase chart uh, today. And uh, that's the 0 0.5 FIP level. If we go slightly higher, actually, I'm going to switch over to the linear skill because i think this is a little bit more reliable so first of all guys the major uh, resistance to break is located at 141 if we go to the log scale it's 138 yeah so i would say at 141 it's a golden fibonacci ratio measured from of this swing high towards the swing low this area will provide a lot of resistance for qnt i can already tell you that so what i do expect in the next few days and weeks is for qnt to move up higher towards this 141 level from there on i do expect some kind of a rejection and a further continuation after a healthy pullback so that's what i do expect um let's also take a look at the indicators 
Currently on the daily time frame, we are under a buy signal as stated yesterday, and we are still pushing upwards here in terms of momentum. This shows you how uh, accurate this indicator actually is. Um, RSI currently on the daily time frame sitting at 50, so we are perfectly at the medium line. So there's a lot of upside potential at this stage. Stochastic RSI also moving up strongly here on the daily time frame, and we can also see that the MACD is seeing a bullish crossover right now. So this is a very bullish signal, and this is indicating that we could experience a lot of upside upside momentum in the next few uh, days ahead of us. Let's also take a look at the four hourly time frame. So this is the four hourly time frame for QNT. Let's uh, enable the volume. So we have a lot of increasing volume here on this push to the upside. So it's looking very good, actually very bullish. I do think that this is a legit breakout. A lot of people were extremely fearful on at these bottoms here at 105, 106, and the news was extremely negative. And um, yeah, it, lo it looked like the world was about to end, but that is typically what you get at the bottom of such a wave too. Fear is extremely high. And uh, yeah, it's very hard to, uh, keep your emotions out of it but um, yeah the reward is very big if you buy at these fair when everyone is super fearful uh, let's also take a look at the indicators here on the four hourly time frame momentum pushing up strongly um, stochastic r size getting overbought so from any moment in time we could experience a slight pullback maybe a healthy sideways price action or something let's also go to the hourly uh, yeah, so in terms of my Elliott wave count here in the imminent short term, I do think that from of the swing low we've made on the 10th of March at 106, we moved up in a so-called Elliott wave one here in the minor scale. We then moved down in a wave two. And right now we are in this third wave for QNT towards the upside here. Um, yeah, let's actually calculate the price target. So if we calculate the length here of this first impulse, and if we place this trend-based FIP tool at the bottom of the wave two, we are looking for the 1.618 FIP extension as a minimum for such a wave three. And as you can see, that is perfectly aligning here with the golden pocket in yellow. So I would say around 141 to 143, I do expect to uh, Quant to go up. Uh, of course, this will also not be in a straight line. There will be some ups and downs along the way, but I do expect us in the next few days to go towards this price target. And yeah, the wave three could even extend higher. That is a possibility, but I can already tell you that around the golden Fibonacci ratio, we I don't know if you guys remember, but we just measured here um, a FIP retracement from the swing high of the 25th of January towards the swing low. And this golden Fibonacci ratio here in yellow at 141 will provide resistance. I can already tell you that we will see a pullback at those levels. So it is very likely that in the imminent short term um, that Q&T will go up towards yeah, the 1.618 FIP extension and from there on a healthy pullback in such a wave 4 and then a fifth wave to the upside. By the way, in my signal group, uh, we are uh, also trading QNT here in the short term to compound our QNT tokens. We are also um, yeah, taking profits at these levels, buying back cheaper to get more QNT. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to join my signal group. Um, yeah, so at the moment it's looking very good for QNT. Uh, I do think that we are on track towards these price targets. And um, yeah, I'll be back maybe later today with another update if I see major volatility. And otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow with a detailed update about Quant. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next update. Bye bye.